guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and welcome to my next Let's Play of Wii Party for the Nintendo Wii. This is one of my personal favorite games on the Nintendo Wii. The game that pretty much replaced Mario Party for me when the Wii was out. And, uh, ironically enough, this game was made not only by Nintendo, but by ND Cube. Now, if you don't know who ND Cube is, basically, after Mario Party 8... Hudson Stuff no longer made Mario Party games, so uh, ND Cube took over and made the infamous, infamous Mario Party 9, which sucks. They are the crew that basically ruined Mario Party, but they actually made this game, which is so strange because this game is awesome. And uh, yeah, this game not only is better than Mario Party 9, I'd say it's actually better than Mario Party 8. It's actually a really solid time. And uh, yeah, I was. I knew I was going to have to play this game at some point. I made videos on this game in, on the channel way back in the day, but just not uh, not a proper Let's Play. So here it is, Wii Party for Nintendo Wii. All my bees in the background. Got some dogs, a couple of frogs. I see a die there. That might come into play at some point. Uh, <laughs> lots of Check Me Out channel memes from back in the day. This game was made in 2010, and yeah. Here it is. Uh, it's got awesome music, and it's just a real solid time. So we've got the party games, one to four players. So uh, that's going to be the main attractions. We've also got the pair games. Um, let's see. I believe it's matchup. Oh, no. I think we can play. No, friend connection we can't play. Uh, you need two players for that. Um, I guess technically I could have a friend play, but I don't know anyone who would really want to play Wii Party Ball games. But we've got the pair games that are meant to be played uh, with two people, but uh, these two we can play with a uh, computer. We've got the house party. None of these I'm going to be able to show off. They're all two to four players, and they're honestly not that good, really. Uh, I've played, yeah, I've played all of them, but none of them are really all that interesting, all that special, so... Uh, we've got the rankings and the mini games. There's tons of mini games, like any Mario Party game would. Of course, any party game in general needs mini games. Uh, we got the free play, of course, but we got the battle mode, which we are going to show off. Basically, you complete a set number of mini games, and whoever completes or wins the necessary amount wins the game. We got the solo mode, where you by yourself play through a bunch of uh, mini games. Some of them are one versus one, some are one versus three, most of them are four player. Uh, and there's three different difficulties, so we're gonna show all of that off. And we got the challenge mode, which has more uh, specific mini games. Uh, this one, Marching Orders, Garden Gridlock, these two are exclusive to uh, the challenge mode. Clover Hunt, I think this is also exclusive, maybe not. That might be a regular mini game. Shifty Gift says, and that's just a regular mini game. These two I'm not going to be able to play. I don't know that I've ever played Trippy Traverse. Uh, About Face, I'm going to be honest, I've never been able to. <laughs> these types of puzzle games I've never been good at. I think I'll at least try it, but uh, um, they also have the rankings for all the mini games, so <laughs> I'm going to check all this out. My dad. Oh, I had one of my friends who always used my dad's me. Uh, this I was only ever to able to play. You can only play it multiplayer. But, uh, it gives you a weird score, basically. It's to test whoever's the best pair, quote-unquote. And, um, yeah, gives you the challenge mode and, and everything, so I can check all these scores. Uh, I guess I might as well show these off, because, I mean, when the hell else am I going to do that? The solo mode I've actually made videos on before. I don't know what this is all about. My me icon's missing, I think. I think this might be a glitch from when I transferred my data from my Wii to the Wii U where it is now. I'm not really sure, because, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't make much difference, but, uh, yeah, there's, uh, a bunch to do in this game. And we're going to be starting off with Board Game Island. Oh, there's also the Suggestions mode. We've got our main, uh, <laughs> our host for the party, uh, Party Phil is his name. Uh, the suggestions just gives you a random recommendation. But Board Game Island, race to the top of Board Game Island. Doing well in minigames will help you get there first, so it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a big board game, or uh, it's like one. 
Uh, for the CPU skill, I think I'm going to do Expert. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do Expert or, uh, or Master. I mean, the Master, yeah, I can definitely do it, but it's going to be a lot harder. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that or not. Uh, I don't think I'm going to really go over the... Uh, it goes over the rules. So basically you have the happening spaces, so you have the plus spaces that boost your head spaces. There's additional minigame spaces, but um, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to go through the rules specifically, I'll just kind of explain it as it goes along. So that man down there is Party Phil, and we've got our, <laughs> our opponents trying to reach the end. You can see all the happening spaces, they all do certain things, I'll explain as we go along. We get face flip, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, your face is on one of the cards. Actually, no. Your face is going to be on three cards, one in each row. You just have to kind of guess them correctly. So, Shinosuke is going to be going first. My card. What? Oh, no. You are not really going to... I was going to say, I had one time the first person who played literally just annihilated. Like, just won the minigame outright, like, instantly. It was so stupid. Oh, come on. She guessed correct. He already uncovered your car, you bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Dumbass. I forget what's her name. Sandra? Oh, I know where my second card is. It's basically a battle just knowing where your card is going to be. And uh, I guess mine has to be here. You literally already... Oh, my God, you idiot. <laughs> okay, my second one's here. No one's gotten to the third row. I'm just going to guess. Darn. <laughs> nope. All right. What's this girl's name? Haley, right? I used to know every Nintendo Mii's name. Oh, I know where all my cards are. Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to hover over here so I remember for sure where my third one is at. Screw you, Sandra. That's lame. Come on. Ah, whatever. Sometimes the minigames can be unfair. Some of them are just straight-up luck-based, so... <laughs> this one really isn't that bad in the grand scheme of things. Or at least that unfair. Uh, now, you're going to see at the end of the minigame, depending on how well you place, uh, you're going to get a bonus die. So, first place gets a gold bonus die, which is just the same as a regular die. Uh, you can roll 1 through 6, not 1 through 9 like Mario Party. Uh, but one through six, the silver die you get for second place is one to three, and third place you get a red one that goes uh, one or two, I believe. Yeah, one or two. And uh, Haley got fourth place, so she doesn't get anything. One to six. She's gonna roll. <laughs> Literally the worst thing you can roll with a bonus die. <laughs> nice. A bonus or a bonus? Yeah, bonus die. Bonus dice die. I don't know. I've never been able to... I, I technically know which is which. I just kind of lose track on the fly. One and two. It's not that helpful of a bonus die, but it's better than nothing. You get a four. Uh, if you roll the same thing on both dice, it actually lets you roll again. And, ah, oh yeah, it's going to be a six. You can kind of tell when the die hits the ground. When it... Just depending... There's... How do I explain this? There's a certain way that it kind of rolls that you can tell it's going to be a six. Oh, and it lets you practice the minigames first, which is pretty cool. This is the fucking stupidest goddamn minigame in the collection. I cannot believe we are playing this at all, let alone the second minigame. <laughs> so, um, you're supposed to put your baby to sleep. And <laughs> these do not look like our children at all, especially, you know, suitcase. Uh, baby. <laughs> You're great. At least Haley's me kind of matches her skin tone, but... What the hell? My baby's ugly as shit. Come on, there's no way that's my baby. No way my child would turn out looking like that. But, uh... This... You're supposed to have some sort of... Like, you... Just shake the remote in a rhythm. If you're wondering, I'm literally just... Just shaking the Wii remote. Like, basically jerking it off, almost. It's really... <laughs> you're not supposed to do that with a real baby, but... I find that actually works in this minigame. Stupidly enough. And I won. <laughs> I won. <laughs> okay. Literally just shook the Wii remote non-stop and won. 
This is the dumbest mini game ever. But uh, I get my gold tie. Gold tie. No, no, it didn't do me much good. Uh, you can roll um, six and six, which is awesome. I've I've rolled uh, what would be the max roll? Eighteen, I guess. Oh, look at this! I get a plus four. Get the tornado space. Uh, if you land on that, you roll two dice. One die, one die will have a me's face on it, and whatever the other die will have a uh, minus number. Up, oh, it's doubles. And whenever you roll, that person on the other die that you rolled will go back a certain number of spaces. You just always hope it's not you. It's someone else getting it. You always hope it's not you. Uh, the one versus three mini games. Play a one versus three mini game. Oh no. Oh no, they're showing it off. The minus four, you just get bumped back four spaces. Not me, not me. Damn it! God damn it. No! Over the bridge? I don't think a tornado should work like that. Uh, the UFO space, you just roll a, you roll a die to switch spaces with another opponent. Which can really suck. Uh, depending. Here you just forward three spaces. There's no way to fail that rope sling thing. There are going to be dice rolls later on that are going to be pretty uh, <laughs> uh, anxiety inducing, shall we say. Uh, you can have bad things happen if you fail them, let's say. And uh, you can see actually one of them from there. Alright, hammerheads. Whack-a-mole. Emote on its side. I love this minigame. I played this game. I didn't get this game till like 2013. Pretty much when I opened this YouTube channel, I got this game. And I played the crap out of it. It was awesome. I never had a Mario Party game on the Wii, like I said. And, um, you know, I'm definitely glad I got this instead of Mario Party 9 or something. Uh, yeah, I just got this from GameStop used. Oh, crap. Those gold moles are first plus three. Fuck you! Ah, come on. Hang on. Mine. Son of a bitch. Oh, I still won. Nice. <laughs> I love this this game. I played the crap out of this. Um, not not as much as something like Wii Sports Resort. I've definitely played that game a lot more, but this game, especially uh, Board Game Island and Globetrot. Um, I played the crap out of these games. Alright, so I'm pretty much just back to where I was initially. Snake Eyes! Roll doubles. And this is your first kind of obstacle. Stone statue head. You have to roll a four higher. Let's see if he's going to do it. Nope. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Aw. Hey, I see snake head and a bat in <laughs> the audience there. I have, I have multiple copies of my own me, so I see my myself in the audience too a lot. <laughs> probably shouldn't probably shouldn't have that many me's. When I made my uh, We Play Find Me video where I got through all the levels, people were like, "Why'd you make so many copies of yourself?" Most of them I just made for um, Mario Kart Wii clans. I would sub in play Clan Wars, uh, <laughs> so I just didn't feel like changing the names. Anyway, first uh, one versus three mini game. This one's ridiculously easy, especially if you're one of the people it's throwing. Just hold, I think it's B, and they're supposed to dodge the uh, the logs, <laughs> and they they always fail. They oh, oh come on, that was almost mine. I wanted mine to kill her. Damn. <laughs> the the even on master mode, the computers always fail that. Basically, always. <laughs> you lose the mini games. You can't advance any further. The dumb thing, the people, the three who win, don't get anything as a reward, which kind of sucks. Um, in Mario Party, you would usually get to roll again, or you'd get some coins. Okay, this one. Either a one, three, or a five. I might as well try five. Yes, that's right. Uh, you have to pick a number that no one else picked. Um, well, if I pick five again, that's almost certain, certainly not going to work. Yes! I'm a fucking genius. Look at me, just 
marching up there towards the goal. Oh, what the hell? I'll pick five again. Yes! Oh my god, you guys are idiots! What are you doing? Come on! Five, obviously. Look at that. Looks like I'm up in the Rockies or something. God, that's beautiful. All those flowers and mountains with snow on them. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what these CPUs are up to. They are just not doing anything. What do I get? Eight. Alright. Let's see. You don't get to use any bonus die unless you have to do it with a single die. Damn it. <laughs> now my eight means nothing. Yeah, if you fail the obstacle. It's a little, uh, little dinosaur guy doing in the, the water there. I always noticed him. I never never heard anyone in a Let's Play point him out just kind of hanging out in the water over there. I never understood what he was there for. I don't think he ever plays any significant role in any mini games. Unless I'm remembering wrong. No, I hope he doesn't get this. If he gets this, he's going to be in a good spot. Okay. <laughs> If he rolls a four or a six from that space, he would be in a really good spot. If you roll a five, you're in really bad shape. Uh, you might get to see either of those play out. Oh wow, nice roll, Sandra. <laughs> nice roll. No. Follow your face. Oh, I like this mini game. You have to pay attention to your ball. You're gonna see him kind of switch the cups around sometimes. If he does that. Your ball's in the same space. Let's see. There. Up, uh, up. Oh, oh, yep, he switcherooed, so my ball should still be here. He kind of went like that. Sometimes that's failed me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Not this time. Sometimes it kind of didn't work out, or I maybe misjudged. It's pretty fast, too. Whoa. should still be there. Still, well, it's in a different spot. Uh-oh, someone's wrong. It's not me, though. Yeah, I knew it. All right, so if I get this, I could get a perfect. Perfect score, six points. Holy shit. I usually, okay, now I lost track. I lost track. I never can pay attention well enough on this. I'm just gonna guess the same one, yeah. Please be right. Please be right. Come on. Perfect score. Damn it. Whatever. I still win. <laughs> if I got a perfect score, that would have been awesome. I'm not really good at guessing those kinds of things, but, you know, it is luck-based at that point if you screwed up and didn't pay attention. At the same time, he moves it around so quick. How are you supposed to keep track? <laughs> All right. Do I get... Five, that's really not good. Oh no, oh no. Please don't roll a four. Please don't roll a four. Please don't. Okay, okay. Okay, a five from there is really bad. Now, if Shinosuke, or whatever, however you're supposed to pronounce that, uh, gets a five, then that's a good thing. I don't know. Nope. Just clear the goal, man. Come on. I've never. Good grief. I don't think I've ever been held up here more than, like, a turn or two, so... This is kind of interesting. Now, the goal that's... Or the obstacle near the end, I have a bit of a funny story with, but... I'll explain that when we're there, and you'll kind of understand it better. Now, those blue statues are really good if you land on uh, one of their spaces. Kick that wall down! You karate chop that wall! That's right, Haley. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm talking nicely about you. You're my opponent, so you kind of suck. But whatever. Anyway, one v three spaces. Also, one versus one spaces. There's a couple interesting spaces that only occur. Uh, one of them only occurs at that one little corner. Right, dizzy maze game here. Basically, just turn your remote one way and see if it's. Oh, oh, okay. Turn my remote on its head, now it works. Nope, okay. Hold it literally upside down. <laughs> Alright. 
I love this mini game, but the computers are really garbage at it. Even on master mode, they're not that good. I mean, pretty much, you just hold the remote any direction. If it moves left in the direction you're holding, just keep doing it. I don't know. It's pretty easy trial and error. Maze days, that's right. <laughs> it's an interesting mini game. I wish I wish there was a little longer, honestly. Don't roll a five. Don't roll a five. Oh, nice. That was a really good roll. Eleven. That's skull space. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was not. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> the volcano space turns all the happening spaces to minus four spaces. Oh, and the other thing that sucks. Uh, you can land on those minus four spaces consecutively. There's no real, uh, limit to it. Please land a minus four. Please, please, yes! <laughs> uh, usually when you hit a minus four, yeah. Yeah, see? You can, you can hit him in chains. Okay. I've seen players get knocked back really far. You've seen that. I think it goes away after either two turns, or if you, I guess two people land on the space? I don't know. Yes! <laughs> fuck him up. Fuck him up. Oh, man. I love that. Spongebob's in the audience. And the weird smiley face. It's a five. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess landing on it two times is enough to kind of undo it. Alright, quicker chipper. God, whenever I play, like, a golfing minigame on the Wii, I so wish that there was, like, an actual proper Mario Golf game or something on here. Maybe if they they took the Wii golf holes, you know, Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, made more golfing holes like that, and made a full game out of it. I think there are some, but not really any well-known ones. There's no Mario Golf game on the, on the Wii. Which is kind of weird. They poured Mario Power Tennis with mo motion controls. You would have thought uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour would be the perfect game to do that with. <laughs> I always wish that there was some sort of really solid golf game on the Wii. Oh, we got a roll off here. Whoever rolls the higher number gets the higher spot. Haha! -ha. Get owned, Haley. Get wrecked. Actually, technically, I'm praising one of my other opponents. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, right here is going to be another little obstacle thing. Good grief, I'm rolling high numbers here. Okay. I have to pick either the boxes or the, the barrels. And one of these paths will be right, and the other will be wrong. <laughs> and if it's wrong, your roll goes to zero. Zip, nada, nothing. Okay, did I explain the blue statues? So basically they launch you way far over the map. Pretty much to where I'm standing there, but there's also that red statue that launches you all the way back to that red platform you see right there. I don't know that I've ever played Board Game Island and no one's gotten it. Kinda of surprised. Is no one gonna get this statue? You've got to be sh You've got to be shitting me. I never get to... Whenever I play this, this space rarely ever gets hit. Why is it hit twice? Oh, no. Oh, there's also that dragon space. Uh, you basically roll a dice, and um, it either rolls blue or red, a uh, different type of dinosaur, I guess. And uh, one of them's good, and the other's bad, and chases you back. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to show that off or not. Bumper balls. It's a fun little mini game. Start. Mess everyone up. Try and knock everyone in the holes without getting knocked in yourself, ideally. Other obstacles will introduce themselves. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, that was bad. Oh, my everyone. Why did I get flung in there? Come on. What did I do to deserve that? What did I do to deserve everyone turning against... Well, besides being way far ahead of everyone. What did I do to deserve everyone turning against me? Oh, whatever. That 
see. She let you, yes yeah, she will. <laughs> yes yeah, she will. Chained. Get comboed. I don't know if there's like an actual, if the board's laid out so you can only get comboed a certain number of times. I've seen people get knocked back like really far. Uh, you can probably find just a video alone of that on YouTube. I would assume, anyway. Don't think he's gonna get comboed here. Nope. Just barely not enough. I love how everyone's just standing so scared off to the side. Double. Why is everyone getting doubles? Come on. I see Toon Link there. Is that Young Link? I can't tell. Let's see. Guess wrong. Wrong, 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 come on. Ah, whatever, you can knock back anyway, bitch. Get knocked back again, bitch. Get knocked back again, bitch. That's right, ah, I was hoping she would get it another time. SpongeBob, I see a car there too. Oh, sweet, I don't have to deal with that. Nice. Don't roll a three. Whatever you do, don't roll a three, Zip. Oh, I get a one versus three. Nice. Hey, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I forgot to mention in the video, I'm actually going to be splitting these game modes into two episodes each. Just due to the length of these game modes. So, I hope you enjoyed the first half of Board Game Island. The second half will go up tomorrow. And, yeah, for the most part, I'm going to be doing that. If I have to, I'll even split them up into thirds. But, uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.